Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lian Duan. I have been a developer for over 20 years. I focus on DevOps and security in the cloud. Today we will talk about how to use manual jobs in GitLab. The video related markdown and access files are in my GitLab and GitHub. The links are below. Let's start. In the video, we'll cover manual job concept, how to add a manual job in GitLab pipeline, how to find the manual jobs in GitLab UI, and hands-on demo. First topic is, what is a manual job in GitLab? A manual job is a type of pipeline job in GitLab. The manual job is not executed automatically. The manual job has to be manual triggered by a user. The job is used for tasks that require human action, such as approval process, testing, or deployment to production. To trigger a manual job, a user can simply click a button with the GitLab interface or use GitLab API to trigger the job. This allows a user to control when a job runs and when it does not not, giving more flexibility and control over the pipeline. After we get the manual job concept, we move to the next topic, how to add a manual job in GitLab pipeline. The pipeline file is from Common Lab project. The Common Lab project only has DTO classes. The DTO classes are used by Spring Boot demo project. The pipeline file has two stages, build and deploy. Build stage is a Java build. Deploy stage is publishing the build result jar file to GitLab package registry. The process detail is in the video, how to publish a Java project to GitLab package registry. Deploy stage is changed from auto to manual. We want to only add the manual deployment in the main branch and hide it in, in another branches. The scenario is other teams start to use the common lab and a new common lab release or change existing common lab content need communicate with cross teams. So we need to manually deploy the common lab jar. How do I do it? Add the rules after the script part. In GitLab, rules only and except are used to control when the job needs to run. The if condition tells GitLab the deployed job is only shown in main branch and runs as manual. The logic is the system parameter ci underline commit underline branch name equals the main manually run the job. Allow failure value is true. That means the pipeline continues running or finish even the manual job is not run. It is for other branches, which one is not main branch. Next, I'll show how to find the manual jobs in GitLab UI. In pipelines list, if you say the pipeline is passed and some stage skipped, you will say run manually or delay in the job, the icon is triangle. When you go inside the pipeline, you say the manual action and play all manual actions. It's simple, right? Finally, we move to hands-on demo. The demo goal is to verify the deployed job only shown and run in the main branch. First demo item, trigger a build in feature 112, how to use manual jobs in GitLab. Open my common lab project. Open the .gitlab-set.yaml file. Add comments in here. Commit, log into my GitLab, switch project to common lab. In the left side navigation menu, select CICD. You see the pipeline is running only one stage. Click past to see the detail. Only one build stage running because the branch is not a main branch. So deploy job is hide. Switch back to my markdown file. Next demo item, trigger build in main branch. Copy, switch to my common project to main branch, add comments, commit. 
Open the GitLab UI again. Select Pipelines. You'll see the job is running. Open the pipeline. We should see the deploy job. The deploy job in there. When the mouse move to the icon, we'll see deploy manual action. Go here to play all manual jobs. Click. The deploy job is running. Deploy job is completed. We can trigger manually run again. Back to the pipelines list UI. As the screenshot, you can see run manual or delay jobs. Also, you can see there is no triangle icon in the feature branch because the deploy job is only running in the main branch. All topics are completed. Today, we learned GitLab manual jobs concept and how to use it. If you have any questions, please post comments below. I'll try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.